Hello, everybody. My name is Rachel Henderson, and I'm going to be presenting my advertising project. I know that on the Google Meet, it says my name is Christina Mercer, but that's just because my computer does not allow me to record the slideshow. So let me go to the slideshow. So for my project, I chose exploring non-core subject teaching careers. And for my teacher, I interviewed Mrs. Mercer, but since everything that's happened with the pandemic and everything, I couldn't interview her in person. So I wrote down the questions in an email and sent them to her and she emailed me back with her answers. So a little bit about Mrs. Mercer is that she's the early childhood teacher and Little Hawks Play School director. She has been teaching at Healer Ridge for about eight years, but before Healer Ridge, she taught at kindergarten for 10 years at Salido de Sol Elementary here in our Crane District in Yuma. Mrs. Mercer graduated from Northern Arizona University with a bachelor's degree in elementary education, a master's in bilingual multicultural education, but also has a certificate for CTE. And if you don't know what CTE is, it's career technical education, I believe. She is married to Mr. Mercer and has two boys, Levi and Liam. So these are the list of interview questions. What kind of preparation did you have for this job? What have you learned since becoming an early childhood education teacher that you didn't know before you took the job? What is the best part about being an ECE teacher? What is the most challenging aspect of your job? What is your advice to someone considering a teaching career like yours? How long have you been teaching in this program? How long have you been in this teaching program? What do you want to accomplish teaching the ECE class? And did you ever see yourself teaching this class? So these are her answers. She has a bachelor's in elementary ed and emphasis in early childhood and master's in my bilingual multicultural education. She takes WAAL childhood professional development classes every month to start up to date on information. She was nervous at first because she had taught kindergarten for 10 years, but she's learned that high school kids are just bigger kids. What she likes about this job is that she gets to teach both worlds, the high school world and preschool world, and watching them both learn and grow together is amazing. Trying to keep up with expectations of CTE while also running a preschool and CTSO. She juggles different hats but enjoy everything I do. This year, the most challenging thing was to convert a very hands-on class virtual. I think that's been hard for everybody. <laughs> she likes to, some advice she'd give is to try and stay organized and love what you do. She's been teaching this class for about nine years. I want my students, she wants her students to learn the importance of teaching little ones at a very young age and prepare them with the right tools to be successful in the workforce. I, she actually did this program when she was in high school, but never thought she'd be this teacher in our town since only high school, two high schools offer this class. So there's some extra pictures of early childhood level one and early childhood level two and the play school. And that's all I have. And if I, I don't think I could see myself doing this job because I would prefer reading or teaching little kids, not bigger kids, but yeah. <sighs>